Mr. Speaker, as Congress returns to Washington to address the Biden-Harris administration's reckless spending, the American people are continuing to face consequences of runaway inflation. According to a recent Census Bureau survey, more than 35 percent of Pennsylvanians struggle to afford basic goods, gasoline, and groceries. With prices rising by more than 20 percent since President Biden and Vice President Harris took office, it is the American people who have been left to pay the bill for the administration's failed spending policies. Instead of working to lower prices and supporting American families, Vice President Harris championed reckless policies including subsidies for purchasing electric vehicles and a student loan bailout paid for by hard-working American citizens. America cannot afford another four years of far-left spending. It's time to put a stop to reckless spending that has brought on this inflation and once again return to the fiscal restraint and the strong economic policies put in place by President Donald J. Trump. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, from the dairy farms, cornfields, and orchards of Pennsylvania to the cattle ranches of the Midwest, American farmers produce the meat, the dairy, and the vegetables that feed American families. However, that food supply has been put in danger as the Chinese Communist Party affiliates have begun to purchase our farmland, creating a dangerous American security risk. By adding the Secretary of Agriculture to CFIUS, we can create the oversight that is needed to prevent our farmland from being purchased by the Chinese Communist Party. It's time to pass the Protecting American Agriculture from Foreign Adversaries Act to ensure that the CCP is not continuing to make purchases in the production, in the development, in the transportation, or storage of our food supply. Food security is national security. Shielding these assets from outside interference will help to ensure that the American interests are the top priority for the farming industry. Let's make sure that our fields are cared for by the American farmers and the American growers, and that our food security is preserved. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield. The gentleman yields back.